Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here. Today's video is dedicated to cost of living, grocery prices here in Canada, guys. It's an update video. I showed a similar one three years ago, but the prices have went up so much since then that a lot of you people are still watching that video and I want to make it updated so that you don't come here and say, hey Igor, like your prices were way cheaper than they are right now. Like you, you know, you were not honest with us, but it was three years ago. Things have changed, and it's time to make an update video. And I'm also going to cover, guys, the major expenses from my credit card, from my bills that I'm paying here in Canada. And well, you're going to know how much money you need to make to be happy and live a successful life here, guys. So once again, guys, I want to remind you, I am a real estate agent here in Calgary, Alberta, with EXP Realty. And if you're searching to move here, buying or selling a house. I'm here to help guys. My contact is in the description and in the comments down below. Let's begin guys. House. Well, whether you are owning a house or renting, let's start with rent because most likely moving here, you will be renting. So it's anywhere between 800 to, well, to two thousand dollars. 800, let's say for a basement, uh, closer to 1200 to 1500 in downtown apartment. Well, and 1600, 1700 and up for a house if you're renting the entire place for yourself. So rent is expensive. If you're buying a house, as I told you, I'm a real estate agent, guys, I'm gonna to try to sell you one. So if you're buying it, you pay a little bit more, but you're actually paying more and contributing more towards your principal amount. So it actually works out, works out actually better than renting. Anyways, next biggest expense would be your groceries. And we are going to be going to a grocery store, right? After I mentioned a couple of more points, I thought somebody's following me, but I'm not, I guess I'm paranoid. Anyways, so we are going to be going to a grocery store for that. But before we go there, what is the next expense you would expect? Well. A car. I know a lot of you guys come into Calgary, you're like, I'm going to be taking public transit, but very soon you're going to buy a car because you're going to realize that it's so much more comfortable to have a car, especially there's so much less traffic than in Toronto, where majority of people coming from. So, having a car. Guys, I had a car, a new car, and I don't recommend you buying a new car as soon as you move, as soon, especially if you're like myself, an immigrant coming here with no money. That's how I came here. Now, after years of living here and building my, you know, equity, that's how I became to a place where I am, where I can afford having a better lifestyle than before. But, guys, I would suggest buying an older vehicle. But if you're going to be buying a new one, one, if you're crazy like myself, even if, you know, at, that, at, some, at a certain point I bought a car, I bought a Honda Civic in 2015, and I was paying $300 monthly finance. Now, on top of it, $200 for insurance. On top of it, $200 right now, gas went up, so it's about $250 for gas. On top of it, you have to maintain your car, and that is, well, let's say about 100 bucks a month, because every three, four months you have to service it after all, something goes bad, stuff like that, updating your car registration, your driver's license, other expenses, about $100 a year. So just keep in mind, guys, there will be more expenses than I'm mentioning. Next part, you would need a cell phone and the internet. Here's my S21, I really love this thing, I updated my new phone, and I actually have a notification in my own video that I just posted while I'm recording this. So guys, what do you need to know? <laughs> Is, yeah, I'm paying close to 200, just a little bit above 200 dollars for two cell phones and the internet. Some of you are going to be shocked how expensive it is, probably you don't know prices in it, how the things are here, but some of you will be shocked, well, how did you do it so cheap? And guys, secret for it is I'm cheap, okay? I'm paisa vasul, I need to save money. I'm always searching for a deal and I'm always getting it because I keep on shopping around. And you should do the same thing, search for a deal, shop around, save more money and you'll be more prosperous here in Canada. What other expenses besides all of these and groceries that we will still have to go and look at them would you encounter? Well, anything. Starting from a haircut, if you're a guy, you can get a haircut as low well as $15, most likely closer to $25, $30 if you're a lady. Oh, it's gonna be 50 plus, so just be prepared and also don't forget about the tip. So, yeah, I would suggest, guys, if you're owning a house, if you have a family, you know, other things, other expenses, 
might have to, well, you know, guys, I don't want to be disappointing you, but it's good to have another $500 ready for you. So you calculate how much money you should be on making for that. And that's how they get a more clear picture of how things are in Canada. Now, let's go do some groceries. Guys, while we are driving to destination, I just found my housing market update here. Just so you can see approximately this for Calgary Real Estate Board. What are the prices here in, in Calgary for, for the houses on average by the neighborhood? I can send it to your email if you if you going to email me but here's guys what you, I forgot to mention you actually have to pay utilities so if you're renting an apartment most likely the water and heating could be included so you don't have to pay for hydro and for you know for the heating for the gas so also guys you would you would just have to pay for electricity so your utility bill utility bill should be like 100 bucks, you know, 50 to 100 bucks, depending on how much electricity you use or energy saving bulbs and stuff like that. Now, if you have a house, it can be as high as $500 a month on a cold winter day. If you have a newer house, probably it's going to be a little bit less because the, the insulation and it's more energy efficient houses that are made. But if it's an older one, it could be even, you know, it could be somewhere approximately that range, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. So uh, let's go grocery now. Right, guys, so we are going to be doing groceries now, just next to Real Canadian Superstore, just like three years back. Let's compare the prices now. So guys, raspberries, cherries, blueberries. See, this is a price, just keep in mind, this is before taxes, guys, and uh, and it's per pound, so just, well, per pound, I mean, this is one pound, so that's the price in Canadian dollars right now. Why is this stuff so expensive? Look, I don't even want to buy it for four dollars and it's seven dollars, my god. Peaches, I'm actually planning to take some. No, I didn't take my grocery bag from the car. But it's actually not too bad. Apricots, apricots are usually more expensive. It's actually a good price. Oh, this one is cheap. It's uh, grapes. Price for oranges, two dollars, and lime is forty-eight cents per one piece. Well, lemon is like one dollar. These are the prices that we have here in Canada right now, and we are out of fruit, so I was not going to buy it, but because I'm making video, I'm buying some stuff. What's the price for bananas? Seventy-seven cents per pound. And pineapple. 288 for a smaller one or you get six dollars for a bigger one. There are the prices for apples and stuff like that. 248, two dollars, 188. This one is a pretty good spot. I think the price of apples didn't go up much. I think what's more expensive guys is the prices for meat. So let's go to that section now and the salad as well. See guys. Those are the prices, three dollars, four dollars, four dollars, five dollars for this green stuff. So guys, if you're like me, you like this pre-made salad. I do really love these ones, but what I don't like is, come on, seven dollars for this. But it's fine. This ones is also really delicious ones. I like it, but come on, five dollars for some grass and the seasoning? Hmm. And the most fun part, guys, it used to not be like that, but then it just became like that. Because people don't know how to chop their own salads. I'm one of those people, I don't like chopping salads, guys, and... But I also don't like spending $5, so I just chop my salad by myself now. Last time, three years back, guys, I went to the similar kind of store. It was in the Northeast. This one is at McLeod Trail. It's different, but it's basically the same store. Guys, this is the price for knives. $34 knife, $25 knife. Just so you know a little bit of price in here. 
But you know guys, if you're smart about it and you buy some things like this kind of sharpener stuff, you know uh, what it is, guys, yeah, you can get cheaper if you just shop around. Everyday Essentials, I like this one, so I like the prices of the Everyday Essentials, but they break so easily, I don't know. I remember I purchased something, it didn't last too long, maybe they finally improved the quality, I don't know, just let me know in the comments down below what you think. This is the salt stuff, see guys? It's like $16, $17. As I said guys, it's uh, prices are quite expensive, but... For this kind of container stuff, you would go to dollar store. But just keep in mind guys, in Canada, the Dollarama store, everything is like $4 instead of $1 now. So just keep in mind guys that it's not USA and I had people who are coming from Dallas, Texas and they're saying dollar store and stuff is more, everything is more expensive than $1. Like how is it a dollar store? Well, welcome to Canada. Hey guys, check this out. KitchenAid, well it's a good brand, but it's like $90. I don't know if the brand matters for this kind of mixing stuff. See, this Black & Decker, almost the same thing, different brand. $60, so you're already saving a little bit. This is their prices, guys. Check this out. A blender for $42. But once again, guys, if you're like me, you'd probably go and buy something like this. And if you're more like me, you'd probably buy something even cheaper in Walmart let's say because it's basically the same stuff it just heats up the water unless you want something more sophisticated and more interesting and this guys you know I, I will tell you guys see this thing 24 bucks I bought one like that I think for five or ten dollars of Kijiji at one point I was like I don't want to spend 25 dollars for a coffee maker so I got a pre-owned one and some samosas vegetable samosas 12 dollars Five pieces. I would like to get a chicken instead. Oh, they, they have beef samosa. This is, my personally, I think beef is way better, way tastier for me. Size is okay, but the price is a little bit, well, it's normal nowadays, it's actually normal. Check this out. So if you're buying, buy, for example, roast beef, you get uh, for five dollars, and it's only 175 grams over here, you see? But at the same time, if you get something that's less meat, you can get for five dollars, you get like 600 grams. So you get way more, uh, you know, meat-like substance, which is, well, it's tasty, but is it healthy? Probably, probably that one would be better. That's my personal opinion, but probably they're both high on sodium. Anyways, that's what I'm just saying, guys. If you want to, it's cheaper to get fat, but if you want to be lean in Canada, you gotta pay more for 400 grams, 600 grams for five dollars. So just what I'm saying guys, that's how you spend way more money. This guys is what actually became way more expensive over the time, you see guys, prices $15 for, I mean, $14.48, but, oh, there's something on sale, chicken strips. You see guys, I mean, if you look at the prices, the burgers are $11. $15 for crispy, crunchy, spicy stuff. So this one's there, slightly more expensive than they were pre-pandemic, in my opinion, guys. But the burgers are on sale right now, which is good for a barbecue. They're usually more expensive than, than $8, not bad. You can also get some of these crabs, lobsters. Check this out, $20 per pound. It's not... Well, this is some good meat, salmon, right, $26, kind of still expensive, but it's a good meat. But you guys tell me in the comments down below what you think about these prices, 1 kg, $33.66. in mind guys that you know uh, I'm so used to these prices you know I just noticed certain things 
that are way more expensive than before while well, others are probably about the same and if you're coming from another country guys once you start translating to a different currency you'll be like wow that is expensive so let me know guys in comments down below what you think about the prices so far and i'm going to show you a couple of more things all right let's go okay guys we are finally at the section that i wanted to show you that actually went up in price quite drastically you see guys it's not even salmon but $35 for exactly one kg, $35.23. So this kind of a thing that, like, come on, $20 for what, for this? This is uh, what happened, guys, with the pandemic situation. With the red meat especially, and all this chicken much. But the red meat itself, like this one, became very more expensive. Especially with the pandemic situation where lots of people lost their jobs. This kind of stuff, guys, is be became less affordable for, for a lot of people. Yeah, guys, I actually took this one, which is not healthy, but who cares? At this point, just who cares? It's I'm just craving for it after I showed it to you. Now, where's the 3% milk for myself? And these are the milk prices, guys. So. $5.18 for a gallon. A gallon is basically four liters, guys. Just a little bit more than a gallon. Now, the funniest thing, guys, in Ontario, you would get this kind of milk in a bag. I was actually, guys, going to... Let's, let me get this cream, half, half cream. I just want to get it for my... For my coffee it's not like like okay it looks not expensive to me but you tell me if it's expensive to you guys but i didn't decided specifically to go i decided to specifically go to canadian super uh, superstore today because last time i went to the same store i was going to go to walmart but i thought that you're going to be guys criticizing me because i'm going to a different store this time and once again guys the link for my previous video is going to be description of this video now let's look at some more prices. Now this is the guys, quill eggs, which is tiny ones. If you like some blue menu, six dollars. If you like some other eggs, six dollars, five eighty-eight. But if you're like me, you just bend all the way down and you get this thirty for eight thirty-two. I think it's cheaper. You know what? I just decided I'm going to take it anyways doesn't go bad some Tropicana juice oh almost seven dollars guys but that is 2.63 liters it's really good but the price I think it's higher than before I didn't do a statistical analysis for it but it seems to me like that I just love shopping today guys I literally chose Monday evening shopping nobody's here and the shelves are still full and stuff is on sale now I cannot say it's a bargain it's just like a couple of dollars off what is 6.78 now it's 4.96 which is five dollars on less than two dollars discount but still better than paying a full price and usually other brands usually also go on sale as soon as one of them goes on sale so just to stay competitive oh guys finally we are at the section where i actually came for now i got all of this stuff not too much but some stuff we needed some stuff i just took anyways but really we came here to well get some ice cream because it's so hot outside and well i'm in luck I like chocolate, but not everyone in my family likes chocolate, but there's other stuff, creamy style, $3, which is not bad, it's like, a, used to be $4, $1 off, this is cheap, this is good. Alright, what is this? Well, I'll take it, I think it's pretty big for this kind of price. Look at that. Guys, by the way, I want to show you something that I really don't like. And let me show you. And it's this part. 
Wait. Wow, three doors. Check this out. But if you really look closely, you see it's actually 348, but you get three doors for buying in groups of two. So you grab it naturally, and then there is a fine print, you actually pay more. I really hate this kind of technique, but I'm going to buy it anyways. And this is, guys, how you can get some cheap berries here in Canada. I mean, frozen ones. And we do a lot of cooking with this kind of stuff for berry blend. And it's just nice to have in this kind of cold climate, guys. I'm going to take two, I guess. Guys, I hope you're really enjoying this grocery shopping and you're seeing some new prices. But I do want to point out, guys, if you're buying like meat, if you're buying something healthy, it's more expensive usually. But if you look like, you know what, some stuff that's not exactly healthy but kind of tasty, it usually is more affordable. It's usually cheaper to eat bread, high calorie food, high sugar food. It's usually cheaper to have an unhealthy lifestyle here in Canada. For example, check this out, guys. Check this out. What is this? It's like uh, potato stuff, fried potatoes. It's like one dollar eighty-seven cents. That's what I'm saying, guys. You can literally get sausages, like miners, cheap ones. You get this one, you get fat, but you eat food. So eating unhealthy here is, is more affordable than eating healthy. Just look at the prices, guys. You're basically encouraged to eat this kind of stuff more. Oh, wow, guys. I don't remember exactly how much the price was for this fish before, but it looks way more expensive than I remember it. It's crazy guys, the prices went up, in my opinion. I don't remember how much it was, but it was definitely not $15. I think it was more in the range of like $7 or stuff like that, or am I wrong? If you're like majority of people here and you want to eat frozen food, you can literally get stuff like this, frozen, throw it into a microwave, eat it. How healthy it is, I don't think so it's healthy, but Calories are fine, proteins 15 grams, uh, I mean it's okay, lean cuisine, it's fine. I don't know how much of real chicken or not real here, like I cannot say, but I would just cook my own food, but if you're working really a lot of hours, I love to eat this stuff, lean cuisine, it's one of my favorite actually. Yes, there used to be one of my favorite sections here, and that is a frozen pizza section. Until guys, you know, remember I made a video on the family channel, if you watched it, where I made my own crust, my own pizza. And after that, all of this stuff does not taste the same than your own homemade pizza. I like it so much more, but this one is so much less headache to make one, so it's easy. Just throw it into the oven and it's done. See guys, you can get bread for literally one dollar. Crispy and nice, but you can also, guys, for example, you can just go and get one of the shelf here, but it ranges. You can get one for 188 cents, for example. But if you take after limit, the normal price is 267. I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite breads. This one, 347. 14 grains, it's actually a very good one. But it's more expensive and you get a little bit less than other ones. Right guys, this is Canadian Superstore. These are the prices, so I'm looking forward to read your comments. Let me know what do you think about the prices here and overall expenses here and cost of living in Canada. Guys, you have a better idea now on how everything is. Now you can shop in Walmart, I think it's a little bit cheaper than in Superstore, but I like the products in Superstore a little bit more. Now you can be shopping in Sobeys, you can be shopping in Co-op. You know, different stores have different kinds of standards and different kinds of grades of different products but overall value and quality I kind of like Superstore but I also shop in Walmart no problem I'm not one of those people who don't shop in Walmart because I don't know why anyways guys let me know in the comments down below what do you think if you need to buy a house or find a place here in Calgary or sell your place 
Your guy Igor here is a licensed real estate agent. I have the tools, technology, marketing strategies and everything to bring you success in your real estate transactions. And I'm working with one of the biggest North American brokerages, AXP Realty guys, and we have a huge team of people over there. Anyways guys, give me a call. Everything is in the description and in the comments. See you guys in the next video and ask me questions and I'll make another video based on those questions. Just don't ask me to go to a liquor store. See you guys soon.